everyone. Welcome to Figure Fantasy. We have a new game today, Brave the Mill Fort. I'm going to run through this, guys, on how to efficiently start this event or this game mode. But before that, we're going to be going over what we're going to be getting out of this event. Because, again, in any event, it's usually the reward that we're after. So... Um, here are your rewards, so clearly I haven't achieved it. I've played it through the tutorial a bit and gotten through how, I don't know, how to start it in a way. So we're going to be having the Noble Plum, which we actually use in the store. This is going to be used in Sunny Store and this one. So Girl Cycle 100 Series Merch. The following rewards are diamonds, diamonds, ultra blind pieces, super blind box piece, and lucky coins. So these are the rewards that we're after. By the way, there's a ranking system as well. And I'll go through, you know, the simple aspects of the interface of this one. So I'm going to start over to your left. These are... Cr these are like your faction you know faction buffs but these are belonging to the group specifically for this um this uh event so as you can see here you'll be getting both of them both crucel and izumi um they belong to a faction which is miracle blessed so if you get two out of that it activates this one so that's is that is very simple as you collect um, sorry, going back. As you collect um, figures, make sure that um, make sure that uh, you kind of know what your current figures are, and you're looking for, um, for example, for buffs to activate. Um, again, try to understand in mix and match what do you need, what do you want to focus on. Either you want to focus on the buffs, or you want to focus on the abilities of the figurines that you're going to be collecting or both actually so you can have both so if you want to focus more on miracle blessed you only need four to activate um the the other buff then if you want to move on you can activate this one this has two as well this has two and four two and four two and four and so on and so forth okay so um, please make sure that you are aware of the buffs that you're activating through the figures that you are getting. Okay, so that is one, one tip to progress further. The other one here is uh, be aware of the buffs that you currently have. So transformation potion. So as you can see here, one then so cruise blessing is also another way that you can buff you will be acquiring them through the stages that you go through and here are the figurines that you have and you know again the activated the uh, synergy bonuses that you have per faction take note that these figures are not within your existing pool you have to acquire them through the event okay so uh -huh. we will go through okay the game itself here but before that let's go through this one so this one is a passive and a current passive and uh, this one is additional this is additional pulls for you but this is going to be risky because this hat is kind of your currency for your life so each rescue will have I mean each stage will have five chances of failure if you fail uh, on the five you will lose five so for each failure you lose one red hat so depending on how many red hats you have so if it goes down to zero then the game ends so that is the challenge if you have extra hats because you've been successful in moving forward the reward is this one you'll be able to pull here you will be able to use this and Minus two gets one partner of choice, comma, one random Sakura blessing or transformation potion. So at this point, I'm not sure whether you get a bunch. This is going to be or. So you'll get, I think, one of these. 
Okay, get either a partner, either a random Sakura's Blessing or a Transformation Potion. So, it's very random. I highly advise that you use this if you are confident enough that you're, you know, what you're pulling for or the team that you have is very good. And you can risk using your red hats here. So, take note, this is kind of tricky. I advise that... Um, once you probably reach 10, you could probably get pull two if you're confident about that. But again, please make sure that you, you know, you you try to understand if you can risk anything or you can risk hats or not. Okay, it's it's really up to you guys. There's no formula for this one. This will really be up to your decision, up to who you're pulling, up to your confidence level if you can risk hats again okay i'm just giving you guys advice because i don't want to be blamed for because warden you mentioned that um it's safe to pull no it's basically discerning whether you want to pull now on or on how many hats you want to risk okay <clears throat> so that is it for the hats this one the coin which is your miracle coin the common currency this is used to purchase what i've seen is purchase your figures okay then this one is going to be your um the, your ability to summon better buffs okay so the currency that you need here is this can so as you go up a level um the strong partner you know summoning tendency or rate increases and the other buffs increases as well the ordinary partner decreases so you might as well go after if you can see all of these um there's the can here so you're going to be after the can so i would suggest that you try to if you want to go the conservative route you could go with the easier stages but for me it's go big or go home so i'm gonna be going after this one uh because i want to summon more high quality um high quality figures so let's try to do one battle here i already got so deployable is six so you really have to you know be be careful on who you put in the battlefield okay so take note these are your faction buffs as, as i mentioned earlier so so far this is it so for her she belongs here so the brawler academy i don't have one so if i have another this would activate as well erikshi is a good pull for this one by the way so let's uh, swap out this uh, little guy and put um yoko in here okay so let us uh, see how this does okay so again that is that is a simple gameplay usually this is going to be in auto so as you can see guys the objective is that only six figures survive so this is pretty much i think very easy during the earlier stages as you can see it's a clear so if you can really it's really good to risk in the early stages and get as many energy xp as you can to recruit higher quality figures along the way so that is actually the gist of it as you can see here i can claim sakura of course so she belongs to girl psycho i don't have any other girl psycho here but i'll get her because i can really use a higher quality hero moving forward Okay, so as you can see, I have 11 already. Then let's do one more. Let's do one more. This is four. This is a boss. This is a boss. This is a roadblock. Okay, so let's uh, do the boss before we end. This is four. I'm excited because the energy that the, the, this uh, area will be giving is four. So this is a boss, Sakura. I need Sakura. It was actually a good decision to get Sakura here. 
So I think I don't need. Do I need her? Yeah, I think I need her. Just gonna swap her here. And probably take out another of that. Then take out another box. Then put Sakura in. Let's try this out. I am a bit curious on how this does. So again, this uh, okay. So need one more. Need one more. So what do I give you? Uh huh. Gonna put back one box. Okay. So yeah. Let's try this out. Um, the condition here is... I haven't seen the condition anyway. So, that is it. It's just a careful... Along the way, you'll be pulling different types of figures. So, each team will be different depending on who you recruit, who you take. Again, the earlier stages, I, I bet, would be easier. But as you go along... This would be tougher and decisions would be, yeah, say so proceed to the next difficulty. So clearing eight stages, use figures this time. Okay. So rescue plan 1-7, proceed to explore. Okay, so moving on to the next difficulty. So it rises in difficulty. As you can see, 47 to 92. This is going to be 93 to 184. So you have to enter this, um, you have to battle this, then it opens up. Okay, so that is it, guys. So we are now at level... Okay, it reset to a different, to, to level 1 because it's a different, uh, what do you call this? It's a higher level, higher difficulty. So once you reset, this resets as well. Apparently. Okay, so that is it, guys. That is how this game is going to be played. I'm not going to risk this until this goes to 10 and summon. But again, also your buffs reset and also your figurines reset. Okay, <laughs> so that's it. So basically, every time you go up a level, everything resets. Well, that's it. Um, best stage clear. Okay, so hopefully that helped you. Um, every time you go up, you reset your roster collection. Then you collect again. And uh, probably as you go up, better rewards for you. So, and uh, really achieve this. And hopefully... You guys have gotten, you know, something out of this guide. And uh, for those who are here, please do subscribe to my channel. This helps me a lot, guys. So please do help me out. Um, it, you know, gives me more motivation to create content for you guys. Create motivation and inspiration for myself and put out more content. Thank you, guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.